Joe here at Reverb. Today we're going to learn a few minor pentatonic tricks. The minor pentatonic scale is a go-to for many guitar players of all different genres because of its accessibility, its tonality, and its easy visualization. Let's learn a few tricks to expand on our minor pentatonic knowledge. Okay, for those of you who don't know the minor pentatonic scale yet, I'll blow through it real quick here and make sure you check out our interactive tab page for a closer look. We'll do all of these tricks in the key of A. This first pentatonic trick is probably one that you've heard many times by many different players. The idea here is grabbing a note in the scale, descending four notes, and then jumping up three notes and then descending four notes from there and continuing that pattern all the way down the scale. I like to start, once again we're in the key of A, I like to start on the C, kind of the highest note you can grab while you're in the, in the root position of A minor pentatonic. And then we jump up three notes, so now our starting point is here on the A, descend four notes from there, and then we jump back up three, so our starting note is G, and so on. So I'll, I'll go all the way down the scale nice and slow. Okay, let's hear that same thing a little faster. Alright, let's hear it up tempo a little more. You don't have to descend all the way down to the bottom of the scale when you do this. You can use this pattern in any form you like. For our second pentatonic trick, we will play up the minor pentatonic scale, but after each note, we will play the fifth above that note. One more time. So I like this trick because I'm still just using minor pentatonic scale. I'm not playing any note outside of that scale. But yet, something about it alters it in a way that it doesn't sound so pentatonic or so bluesy. One thing to note here, from the fifth degree of the scale, a fifth above that is not in the minor pentatonic. So we're going to adjust that. We're going to augment that fifth or raise that fifth a half a step so that we're staying within the minor pentatonic. So once again, when we get to that fifth degree, it's not actually a perfect fifth, it's a raised fifth. In this case, it's going to be E to C. Once again, this is a pattern that you can just insert into a solo or improvisation. You don't have to go all the way up the entire scale like I am here. You can be playing your minor pentatonics and then just throw in this kind of fifth trick as you feel. Okay, our third and final minor pentatonic trick today. We're still going to play the minor pentatonic scale and we're going to add a note from outside the scale wherever we feel. So a note that I really like to do this with is the flat five. In the key of A, that's going to be here, the E flat, this position, and then on the G string right here.
pentatonic purists might say that this isn't a pentatonic trick because it's not using the pentatonic scale. But again, I like to think about things with uh, an approach to visualization. I'm still performing here, visualizing that scale, and just throwing in an extra note, just that extra color, that ex extra hint of something else as I go along. Okay, let's expand on that one more time. Let's grab one other note for that third trick. Um, let's grab the ninth or the second. And the key of A, that's going to be on the D string we can grab here on the ninth fret. Or on the high E string we can grab here on the seventh fret. Okay, so this is just a full step above the root and it gives kind of a nice neutral color to the scale. Okay, so there's three minor pentatonic tricks that I think are super useful in your playing. Hopefully this has been a, a useful lesson for you to t be able to take a, a scale that's very commonly, very widely used and maybe inject just a little bit of an altered color in there to make it seem uh, a little more original or to stand out a little more with your solos. Keep checking back for more lessons. There's plenty more to come. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.